Welcome to Reality Teen Talks. My name is Gary McGuey, high school practice leader for Franklin Covey Education. Each week, we're here to take on the real challenges of teen life. Let's talk. Hey, welcome to Reality Teen Talks. Uh, today's episode, Body Image. Let's say hello to today's panel. Today we have Emma, we have Nyla, and we have Divine. Team, thanks for joining us today. Um, body image, a very uh, controversial discussion here. Um, let, let's just start off. When you hear the word body image, what, is, what are your initial thoughts? I think that it has a lot to do with how you view yourself, like, according to what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I definitely think it has to do with yourself and awareness of yourself, but as well as like what the media or other people are saying about where we should be because body image has always been around. I mean, we've heard things about how like in the Victorian era, it was like the trend to be this way and now it's the trend to be that way. So I feel like it's really how you perceive yourself with what you're being shown in the media. Yeah. yeah, I think social media plays such a big role in the way that you view yourself. So. It's constantly changing too. Okay. And so because it's constantly changing, it and obviously I know I compare myself, I think it's just natural instinct, but as much as you'd want to compare yourself to the social media and what's going on, we have to realize it is always changing, like always. So we can't change ourselves every single week, depending on mm -hmm. what the trend is now. That's what a really good point. Like right now I'm watching this show that's set in the 90s. And back then it was like the, what was the trend was to be like stick thin, like no curves, no hips or anything. And then now in the media, it's like, that's what you want. And that's just 10 years ago. And that's not really that much of a big span of time. So I feel like it comes from celebrities, just like how clothes come in and out of fashion. It's the same thing for your body. And so it's not healthy at all to always be trying to follow the trends. Who do we, when you, you talked about social media, you talked about ever changing, um, I'm almost personally, when I hear the word body image, sometimes there's a, a negative stigma attached to it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you feel the same way, but uh, who do you think body image, who does it affect the most, would you say? Whenever, I would, ooh, go ahead. This one, yeah, no, this one, it's funny because like typically you want to say, oh, it affects women and girls, right? But it really, I think like a, if you're saying a group of people, I think it affects teenagers a lot just because we are like the soul of social media, but it definitely, it's women, men, girls, little boys, you know, it affects everyone, but you see quote unquote that it affects women more just because of superstars and who the paparazzi is more focused on and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely do think it has negative connotation because even if you think about it, there have been a lot of campaigns recently to make it a, bo a positive body image. And so because they had to attach positive to it, you know that before we saw it as negative. And I that all comes with people trying to say you have to look like this or do this and this and this and that. And I wish I knew where it came from. I feel like just like how a certain style will come in style and then boom, it's there. I feel like it's either celebrities or just what others are putting onto you. So I feel like it's important for us to have our own, our own body image for what we want and what's healthy for our bodies. Because mm -hmm. I, I cannot have a supermodel body. I am five two. I'll never be six foot and thin straight like that. That's just not healthy for me to want to be like like that way. So it's all about being healthy in your own body. Mm -hmm. I was actually talking to another member of the podcast, uh, Brenda, and she brought up a really good quote. And it was that we could all eat the exact same thing and still look differently. We could still be mm -hmm. built differently. And that just says a lot in and of itself. So what are your thoughts around with this body image and, and the body talk about negative body image, positive body image? Does this play a, uh, can this impact uh, one's mental health? 
100%. I would definitely say, yeah, I would definitely say it can, because I know it's affected mine. I mean, I don't know if it's just being a teenager and hormones are high and everything like that, but especially with social media, which it's a good thing that we can communicate with people from so far away, but now we see so much more and it's not, we forget that genetics plays a role and everything like that. And honestly, every place has their own image that they see as beautiful. Like I know my mom's always telling me from Rwanda, like if you're on the bigger side, it means you're wealthy. So, I mean, every place has a different way that they see an image, but I definitely think it does affect your mental health because if you're constantly trying to do something to appeal to other people, no matter what it is, even if it's school, uh, your talents or anything, if it's always, if you're always doing something for another person or to look better, it's going to drive you crazy. So I think it definitely has a negative mental impact. No, yeah, definitely. Because if you wake, I mean, think about it. Like if you're waking up every day wanting to be someone else, if you're not happy mm -hmm. about what you see in the mirror, that is going to hurt. Like that's not going to feel good. And it doesn't feel good. Feeling like you're constantly not enough. That's that's a big mental health issue. And that's why I think it's such a big deal because it starts with, you know, issues with body image and then it progresses and progresses and progresses and just it's not a good snowball effect like what divine was saying before like i know not too long ago i was struggling with um how i looked but like i'm starting to realize that everyone's different everyone has their own bodies and eat different ways look different ways it's just like you need to learn that it's just different for everyone like there's not if we what everyone was saying before like it's just so important that if you feel like you are perfect in your own way then it's it, you'll feel so much better so, so let me ask you this to you you know as a leadership consultant you know whether i'm working with, with students or even adults we're always talking about getting better, setting goals for ourselves. Every adult, every student should have a, a, a personal goal going on at, at all times. And many times when people talk about setting a personal goal, it's usually around a fitness goal of some sort. Is that is that a good thing? Should we still be striving to get better in the spirit and which, which could impact body image? How would you respond to that question? I, I would respond to it by saying it's always a good thing and it's always a good idea to better to want to better yourself and to want to become mm -hmm. a better person. Um, as far as fitness, if that's what it takes for you to feel better, I mean, I know I like to work out to feel better. So that's, you know, doing sports to feel better. That is definitely, you know, a plus. I think eating healthy generally is just all around better for you. But in doing that not just for your own personal health benefit and doing that so that you can keep up with the joneses i think those are very different you know there's one for your own health benefit and there's one just because of what's going on around you and if you're trying to change yourself because of what's going on around you then who knows what else you'll do like it's not it's not safe i guess it's, yeah you know, i definitely joneses always make it hard on us Sorry. I definitely <laughs> agree with Myla. I mean, it all depends on your why. That's really anything you do, everything you do, it all depends on why you're doing what you're doing. Um, you could be a great leader, but if you if you don't have a good why, then it's not going to get you in a good direction. And I think that's where a lot of us go back to struggling with body image. And I'll, 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 to me, I feel like if you have a better why, you're going to get it done better. Like whenever I would work out just because I wanted to keep up with what was going on in the media, like I wouldn't have the motivation to keep going on a day that I was tired. Yeah. But whenever you start eating healthier and doing things for yourself, for your own health, because you have a goal for yourself and not comparing to other people, then it's going to, then whenever there was a day that I was just like, oh, I'm really tired, I knew I was doing it for myself. And when mm -hmm. you're doing things for yourself, as selfish as it sounds, when you're doing things for yourself, you do you put more effort into it or you do better mm -hmm. so i think it all depends on why you're doing what you're doing and i mean i can understand how you could see a model and be like oh my goodness i wish i could look like that but 
you just always have to go back to why you're doing what you're doing. And there's, it's healthy to follow somebody on social media who has fitness goals and they show you healthy recipes and they show you ways to work out as long as you're doing it for yourself and not to keep up with the Joneses, like Nilo said. As long yeah. as you're doing it to like, for the right reasons, then yeah. continue you're doing what you're doing. Nice. So, uh, last question here, closing thoughts. This has been great, by the way, first of all, very informative for our audience. Um, what would you say, what's one thing you would suggest for our audience leaving here today? What's one thing they could um, do in the spirit of body image? One thing. My take is that you can recognize that trends are constantly changing mm -hmm. and it, there's nothing wrong with you because of that mm -hmm. at all. There's nothing wrong with you as a person because trends are constantly changing because this looks great this week, but next week you want the opposite. That has nothing to do with you and more to do with the industry. So, Yeah, for me, I think that people need to realize that everyone's different. Nobody in this earth has the same exact body type as you. So you just need to learn on bettering yourself for yourself rather than mm -hmm. others. Or yeah, I would definitely agree. And I would say to check with your why and to set goals that are good for you, not for other people. And don't rush it. I mean, I know everybody's like, oh, I need to get a body in time for summer. But it's healthy to, when you make a goal, you give yourself enough time to accomplish that goal in a great way. So make sure you give yourself time and take care of yourself. And if you need to take a break, that's okay. Like you're not a machine. Nice. Well, team, thank, thank you very much for sharing your wisdom. Um, some great insights, some great support for our audience. Uh, once again, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time, okay? Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Team, let's reflect on today's episode around body image. First of all, the team discussed how social media, celebrities, current trends play a major role in body image. Not always healthy to follow these trends. Secondly, we're unique. We need to accept who we are and not try to be someone we're not. Thirdly, always strive to improve. Set goals for you, not for others. Take time to define your why. Reality checks time. What do you see when you look in the mirror? I mean, I'm not talking here, I'm talking deeper, talking your character. Uh, unfortunately, we, we, get up, we get hung up here. Body image. Your body image can affect how you feel about yourself. For example, if you're unhappy with your looks, your self-esteem may start to go down, may lead to depression, eating disorders, or obesity. Most people see at least one part or aspect of their physical appearance they don't like. Constant exposure to idealized media images of these flawless human perfections can keep us aware of our own physical shortcomings. We need to accept who we are and not try to impress others. We all want to continuously improve to get better. Remember, do this for you, not for someone else or social media, or the current trends. Until next week, let's talk. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to Reality Talks on YouTube, Apple, or Spotify, and leave a review or comment. We'd love to hear from you.